Hey guys, I just finished reading The Indestructible Hulk, number 9. Um, now, this one was definitely, was, was okay, I mean, it was, was okay. Um, I definitely like the Hulk, uh, the Hulk's parts in there. Um, but I just really don't like how Hulk all the time, every time he turns into Hulk, their suits just change to Hulk. Um, I mean, I didn't get any feeling that that, Hulk, that suit was extra special or anything like that, so... Maybe it is going from Hulk, from assuming that he had it, the same type of suit in the other Hulks, um, but I, I don't know. I just really don't like it. I just prefer the regular Hulk with the regular stuff. I mean, put on this stuff, whatever, but just have it so that when he turns into Hulk, it just destroys. You know, it becomes like you know he most of it just breaks off. You know what I mean? And I understand you want to keep the pants on and stuff like that, but just have just have the not the full body suit, just the the pants part, everything, but. You know the the like shorts up to his knees, you know from his waist to his knees is is all ripped off, but still the parts there is all broken and stuff. So that, I prefer that to be like there. So I really don't like the suit that he has on the way that it just changes with him. Um, but whatever. Um, so I guess it's interesting with the Daredevil. I mean I love the part where you know Daredevil walks in, can I have a word with you guys, and then everybody pulls the guns on him, and then. And also Hulk walks in behind him, breaks in through the door, he just, and everybody puts their guns away. That was pretty cool. It's pretty funny. Um, but, I mean, other than that, you know, I the, the art is not my favorite type of art, but still nothing that repels me from it. Um, I, so I guess I guess I give this one uh, 7 out of 10, because there's some action, but not too much. Uh, like, not enough, you know, could have done a little bit more. Um... You know, uh, you know, but I'm glad there was not too much talking, uh, especially Daredevil uh, being his lawyer and stuff like that. So, uh, definitely, it's an interesting idea. Um, I would like a little bit more action, you know, um, but other than that, it was still pretty good. So, yeah, again, seven out of ten. That was my review of Hulk, uh, the Indestructible Hulk, number nine. Peace out.